Hello everyone, with you, the History of Pi channel. While collecting information for the second part of the video Mystical Fires in the USA, I noticed a very interesting thing. I looked at the church buildings that were in Chicago before the fire of 1871, as well as photos after the fire. Interestingly, all of these churches practically do not have such an important Christian symbol as the cross. I was interested in this fact, and therefore I decided to find out which god Americans prayed to in the middle of the 19th century. A little historical background. In 1790, the population of the United States was 4 million people, of which 700,000. They were black slaves. 98% of the white population of the United States were Protestants. The Protestants who settled the British colonies were famous for having a thorough religious knowledge, were devout people, and their churches were always crowded with believers. This means that in the United States at the beginning of the 19th century, most of the white population believed in Christ and Christian symbols, which means that the churches that these people built in the 19th century should have an important Christian symbol. Let's look at the churches of the 19th century. Let's start with the Presbyterian churches that were built in Chicago before 1870. Here is the first Presbyterian church before the fire of 1871st year. Of course, the church is beautiful, but for some reason there is not a single cross on the facade or on the spires. If you zoom in, there are no Christian symbols. This is what this church looked like after the Great Chicago Fire. Let's move on to the next church, which is called the Second Presbyterian Church. The large stained glass window of this church certainly looks something like a cross, but on the spires of the church, there are some incomprehensible objects that do not resemble a Christian symbol in any way. Here's another Presbyterian church in Chicago. And again there is not a single cross on the spires. I decided to check, maybe it was this Christian trend that did not have traditions to decorate their temples with the image of a cross on the spires. Here, I found a Presbyterian church in Odessa at the beginning of the 20th century, and a cross is installed on it as it should be. Its full name, is the Evangelical Reformed Presbyterian Church. You look at the spire of this building and immediately realize that this is a church. But in Chicago, for some reason, the crosses of the churches of this denomination were not put up. Now let's look at the building of the Second Baptist Church of Chicago. A very beautiful building, but at first glance, it is impossible to determine what it is. There is some kind of incomprehensible vase on the spire. And that's what's weird. Nowadays, there is a cross on the spires of Baptist churches. And here is the Unity Church. This is after the fire. Above the entrance, instead of a cross, there is again some strange object. Veteran Church of Chicago. It is also difficult to determine what kind of building it is. Methodist Church. Again, the purpose of this building is unclear. There are no familiar symbols.
but modern Methodist churches are already decorated with a cross on the spire. The Congregational Church is also very difficult to understand belonging to a religion. The Universalist Church Instead of a cross on the top, there are objects made of several balls. Now I'm going to show you a church with a more traditional name, St. Paul's Church. The name is purely Christian, but again the spires of this church are decorated with incomprehensible objects. And here's what this church looked like after the Great Chicago Fire. It is clearly visible that the main entrance is not decorated with a cross. I have just shown you the building of Protestant churches, and now we are going to look at exactly the Christian church. This is the Church of the Holy Trinity. She was in Chicago before the fire. And certainly this church will be decorated with crosses on the spires. And what do we see? The spires of this church are again decorated with incomprehensible objects. This is somehow very different from the churches of Russia and Europe. After all, even on old engravings of the Church of Russia, Crosses are decorated, but here something is incomprehensible. Well, maybe it's just an artist's fantasy. But it's not. Here is a photo of this church. And again we don't see any crosses. But this is the Church of the Holy Trinity. It looks like we've been cheated again somewhere. After all, this church is simply obliged to decorate crosses. Or did the Americans have other gods? The buildings of American churches are similar to each other, just one church. Methodists, another St. Paul. The building designs are the same, just the names are different. A lot of churches in the USA were built according to this project. There is a main building, and on the left, there is either a bell tower, or some kind of tower. These are photos from the beginning of the 20th century, so the churches are already decorated with a cross, as it should be. We have a similar project for churches and different denominations, but for some reason, this structure looks more like some kind of industrial premises to me. It was as if there were abandoned factories or factories, and they were simply occupied by representatives of different churches. And this photo seems to confirm it. Look at this amazing factory pipe. In other places, it was probably just demolished so as not to cause unnecessary questions. And here they probably haven't had time yet. It seems that Americans only had Christianity at the end of the 19th century and before that. Either these churches are for other gods, or, more likely, they are some kind of technical premises converted for church needs. And the most interesting thing is that what I noticed in America relates to Europe. Let's take a fresh look at the Kalinsky Cathedral. It was built by Christians for 500 years, but for some reason, there are no Christian symbols on it, some strange objects on the spires. It is impossible to determine from the appearance that this is a Christian shrine. Now Notre Dame. You look at this cathedral. What religion is it built for? Unknown. How to determine the ownership of this building in general? It seems that not only in America, there was no Christianity until the end of the 19th century. The most likely version is that all these buildings had a technical purpose. 
That's it. Watch my channel.